Hi, aloha, good morning. We are going to Wa'ahila Reach State Recreation Area today for some mushroom hunting. Let's see what we can find. So I'm in Hawaii, it's pretty sunny today and um, although not much rain, so let's see what we can find. To go to Wa'ahila Park, you should first take bus 13, then transfer bus 14 to go up the mountain. Bus 14 will stop right in front of the park entrance. So after one hour of ride, we finally arrived at Wa'ahila Ridge State Recreation Area. Say hi! Oh my god, such a long bus ride. Here we are. This is the entrance. It looks pretty interesting. So if you look over there, far away, at that blue sky is actually where the Waikiki area, the tourist region where I stay. So I come all the way from there to here. So I've been walking in the park for probably like five minutes or so. And what I feel about this place is that it has a very strong odor or scent of the pine tree. I mean, as I said, I don't know what this kind of pine tree is, but it really, uh, it's very nice. And it makes me feel so different than the hotel area that I stay in Waikiki. So, exciting. Look at all this pine tree needle bed. There must be a lot of fungi at this moment. But the issue is I feel it's kind of dry this season. There's not much rain. Um, so the chances of finding mushroom growing in this area will be a little bit low. But um, we'll still see what we can find. It doesn't mean that if there's no rain, there's no mushroom growing. Definitely some place if it's like super shady and also because uh, because on the mountain area in uh, Oahu what I heard is that usually uh, there's a lot of like uh, cloud and rain like very tiny rain uh, almost every day through the year so we'll be able to find something look at this I saw this is a mushroom but actually it's some like plastic that's such a bad such a bad uh, camouflage now I'm at the parking area if you look up it's what kind of pine tree I don't know what this is but look at the bed of the ground if it is a raining season I expect to have I expect to see a lot of different mushroom growing but it seems to be very dry at this moment so uh, we're probably gonna go further or upper on that part so just now i saw some local residents here they were telling me that the best season for uh, mushroom picking in this area is actually january february because that's a raining season in hawaii in oahu but um she was telling me that there are a lot of like white color mushroom growing on the forest bed as uh the place i where i just went to um, but anyway, she was saying that right now probably not the best season um, But I still wanted to take a look and see what I can find and Wish me good luck and um, I hope I can present you some interesting Hawaiian fungi to you Well, I was just looking around in the parking lot area and then there's a small there's small like this grassland and then look at what I found. What I find. What I found. I think this is a polypore. So this is a polypore, but it's completely dried out. Um, I forgot. This genus starts with L. It's a spring polypore, probably the way it looks like. So, which is interesting. Okay, there's something, although it's completely dried look at this when I touch it it's completely dried I can take it off so it's already preserved right when it's dried 
All right, let's keep looking. So I'm on the different position of this parking lot and then I look at what I found. So this I think is a cinnabar. It's an orange cinnabar mushroom. It's a polypore too. Um, this is actually pretty common uh, also on the east coast. I'm not sure 100% I can put down to the species but so look at this. I believe this looks pretty familiar to you guys. This mushroom. Yeah. Later I will take a very close shot of the macro photo of this mushroom then you can see that if you can find any relation to the mushroom that you ever see on the east coast. Okay, let's keep looking. Okay, I've been walking, actually hiking. I would say hiking probably for another like uh, 10 minutes or 20, 15 minutes. I didn't see many mushroom just because there there is not much rain on this season. But I saw, I still see some dried mushroom. For example, right now you can see here that this is definitely a kind of mushroom and let me flip it i didn't flip it just to save for this video it's actually very dry made me think of like a reishi the ganoderma but let me flip it see what it is oh well this is probably the same as the previous one is the uh, the cinnabar, the orange, orange cinnabar polypore. Okay, I've been walking another 20 minutes. So unfortunately, I did not see any new fungi. I was even looking underneath some like a uh, tree barks, uh, which lie on the ground because it may have some moisture retain retaining. Oh, wait a second. Oh, well, look here. <laughs> this at the end of my tree by feel, but there's some polypore here. Uh, I don't know what this polypore is, but they are pretty old specimen. Like, extremely old. Well, anyway, not the right season, I guess. Let me show you something interesting. So, you see here, what it is. I, well in the beginning when I look afar, I thought it was a mushroom, but as a matter of fact, when I get close, it's a raisin which excluded, excluded or ooze, I would say, from the pine tree. And then you can see like that, and when I, because it has a cut here, which means this tree is wounded, and then this raisin come out. That kind of fools me in the beginning, I thought it was mushroom, but Anyway, uh, I do see a lot of um, lichen uh, on the pine tree, but I don't know very well about lichen, so uh, that, that needs more expert on this kind of topic to speak about it. But I'm gonna show you one area I saw a lot of uh, cinnamon, c cinnabar uh, polypore. Uh, I just saw them, but anyway, let's go. It's over there, over there. So you see on the ground, these are the cinnabar polypore. <clears throat> there are a bunch of them just scattering on the ground. Here, there's one, there's some, there's some. Uh, they are all like a saprobic because they are growing on dead tree branches. Uh, let me show you here, there's more. So here, there is some, See, there is some, let me, oh, like, put it, get rid of this branches for you. You see, they actually grow on the dead branches uh, from the pine tree. And there are some over here too. This one looks pretty cute. Look at the color. It's a little bit different than the one I s they they look a little bit different than the one I saw in uh northeast because the one I have in north the one I saw in northeast never grow in shape like this it's more irregular but here you, they grow to the shape of reishi look at this one it's like this 
or this is the other one so let me show the back side of this mushroom Ooh, this is a long branch okay here this is it there more over here this one here oh wow <laughs> there are more here this oh this more this one is more irregular they're just hiding anyway this is all i can find for today uh but anyway i will come uh in a different season maybe because as you can see the trail here or this kind of like structure of this forestry it should be a lot of ectomycorrhizal mushroom all right probably i can plan for it trip next year in the beginning yeah you can see that there's a lot of lichen here mm, but anyway this is all i can find so bye bye going back to waikiki you first need to take bus 14 then transfer to bus 13 at the foot of the mountain the view on bus 14 is quite nice because you can see all the houses built on the mountain and the ocean view occasionally when the bus rides on the mountain road. At the end of this video, here's some photos I took with my Sony camera. You can closely look at the structure of the mushroom and see if you have comments and suggestions of the species of the mushrooms.